Hi, my name is Sky Perry. I'm with SSP Innovations, and I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that's really emerging this year. Uh, the title is Why WebGIS? Uh, but really is more fundamentally a, a talk about how we're changing from a system of record that we've traditionally had to a system of engagement. We'll kind of break those terms down uh, as we talk through it today. Uh, but a really focused thing that, uh, again, straight from Esri, uh, emerging throughout the GIS markets, uh, certainly utilities and telecoms, but across all markets, really. So let, let's take a, a little background step here. When we start looking first here at a system of record, this is really traditionally what we've maintained and utilized within the, the course of GIS, but it also applies to many of the other systems uh, within our utilities today. A work management system, an enterprise asset management system, uh, perhaps even an enterprise content management system or a document management system, if you have those two, are all really system of records. Uh, what does that mean? It traditionally means that they're a transactional-based system that manage authoritative data uh, around the content that they own. And that's what GIS has been for. So if we you know, traditionally wrote out there that we have the GIS here as a system of record, it has been the housing of a fair bit of our asset management data, certainly our spatial and mapping data, uh, maybe inspection data, et cetera, that's existed here in the system of record. Now, one of the most common questions we often hear in the industry is, well, you know, o over the years, and this has been very common, right, is that we've taken GIS and we've implemented ArcGIS server, which of course reads the GIS data, and off of that we've put in some type of web application. So a lot of folks say, hey, I've got WebGIS, I'm all set. But the question really becomes in when you talk about what these terms really mean. Now, is a web application reading ArcGIS server off of the system of record GIS, WebGIS? Well, uh, maybe traditionally, yes. But as we talk about system of engagement and where we're headed in the future, the answer is clearly no. The reason being is that ArcGIS server is exposing the same data that we've managed in GIS, and the web application is simply a web exposure point for that data. It is a sole sourced interactive uh, uh, location for that data, but it's still all one system. So in this context, this still rolls up. This is just different exposure points of the same system of record that GIS has been traditionally. So in that context, the answer is really no. So let's talk about what has changed and what is changing in our environment to really drive forward toward a system of engagement. So as we move over to system of engagement, the main difference is whereas this is a, a system of record is authoritative data management about a, a given area within the company. A system of engagement is a different way of exposing that data to be used in, in new and powerful ways. Now one of the key ways that this, uh, or key aspects of a system of engagement is that it's fundamentally social. Now it doesn't mean we're doing social things at work per se, but it's a social use of the data, socializing the data within the organization. Now before I get too far, I want to be very clear about this, and that is WebGIS lives as a system of engagement. Now in the specific landscape of Esri, a WebGIS is effectively equal to portal. Now my typical disclaimer about when I say the word portal, uh, we really have two things we talk about in that context. That would be uh, potentially a, it's a location that exposes and manages a content management system for the data. Now that could be ArcGIS Online, which we do a lot of work with and, and many of you are familiar with. That's Esri's hosted portal. We often say that's the lowercase p, the lowercase portal, uh, which is still a portal. The other product that Esri now has released is called Portal for ArcGIS. And that's basically ArcGIS Online, but installed on-premise, on your own servers, behind your firewalls. Uh, the entire point of making that distinction is that it's two different products that implement the concept of Portal. The usage, the exposure point of Portal within your organization is exactly the same, regardless of its ArcGIS Online or Portal for ArcGIS. So be very clear about that. So Portal is equal to WebGIS, and this is what drives the system of engagement. So why? Why a system of engagement? The main difference is that uh, we're taking the data and, and allowing it to be shared and exposed in new ways within the organization. And it's not just GIS data. We might be using Portal to expose many other endpoints from maybe other systems like work management, enterprise asset management, but also from 
from the end users, right? Think about all the Excel spreadsheets you have in your organization. The unique data that's managed by department, whether it's real estate, customer information, whatever that is. There's spreadsheets and remote databases across the organization. Those are data points that can also be shared via portal, but would never be included in the system of record. So as we do that, it's content sharing, which drives pure interaction. Think about Facebook in this concept, right? Facebook, uh, how much data is owned by Facebook? Zero, right? It's all sourced by the users. Facebook provides the platform, the system of engagement, to utilize that data, to share it, to drive peer interaction. And really the key exciting part for me is derivative works. So often we see that uh, some piece of data out there uh, is utilized by another user to create yet a new work, which is then further derived from. It's an exponential type of uh, exposure point. But to drive this home maybe even a little bit more, let's look at some specific aspects from where we've been, system of record, to where we're going in a system of engagement. So let's talk about first client server. Client server, common term, this is the way we've interacted with our system of records for years. Think about ArcMap, Arc Catalog, even ArcGIS server uh, and a web application can fall into the client server model. As we see that shift into a system of engagement, we're taking that and moving it toward web services and applications. Now how is that different? Instead of using a client server implementation architecture, we're now exposing the data points as web services. Why is that important? With this uh, services-oriented architecture, it means that we're exposing points that be, can be consumed by many different consumption points. Consumption applications, like web applications. Uh, consumption, other client server apps can consume that. End users can consume that using out-of-the-box tools like ArcGIS.com, like Collector, like Explorer. So we're fundamentally changing the way we're interacting with that data from client server to web services and apps. Next component, we've spent so much time, and data models don't go away to be clear. Data models will always exist within our system of record, but as we expose those, they become web maps. Now, a web map is an exposure point, again, that is shared within the portal. It contains many different services. So now as a user coming in, thinking about that pure interaction, the, the, the unique social aspect to it, I can find web services that I want to use in my own derivative work. I can find web maps to use as a basis for my derivative work. I may create those into a new web map, which is then shared and exposed to additional pure interaction and further derivative work. So again, a, a change that's very much in line with this concept. Next piece here, we've traditionally built very large custom applications to interact with the system of record. Now as we shift toward the system of record, you know, we're changing the way the data is exposed and therefore we have to change the way the data is consumed. And that moves toward configurable applications and templates. Key difference is these are much smaller. Time to deploy has gone from months to days. Uh, the usage is much more focused, okay? So we've got configurable applications you're putting out. The concept of templates, uh, you probably know this, hopefully you know this. Esri has an entire suite of solution templates that we use day in and day out. You should check them out too. Specific to electric, gas, water, telecom, and many of the other verticals that Esri uh, works with. But these are small templates, fundamentally can be implemented within a portal to consume your web services and your web maps. You start seeing how these parts play together. And it really drives faster usage and more agile usage of the data. Again, fundamentals, fundamentally social, implementing new applications, derivative works, it really all works together. The final point I want to drive home here is that our proprietary data, we think about system of record authoritative data management, is driving proprietary data, meaning that system owns that data. Now as we take that proprietary data and shift it across into open and shared GIS services, we're now exposing that data for the derivative work. We're driving it toward encouraging using uh, that data by other users by driving new creation, new work around it, which just again is a self-inventing, a self a circle that keeps inventing itself as we move towards WebGIS. So uh, the real fundamental shift is that we're taking what we've done historically, we're not changing the value, we're simply leveraging it, and we're leveraging ArcGIS server. What we're taking is maybe this concept of a traditional web application, and again, we're shifting it into a portal, which is more of a content management system. Again, uh, content sharing, peer interaction, derivative works. We're changing the way that data is consumed. Now, as this data is exposed and used in that way across your organization, what the end result is going to be is a huge uh, drive towards new usage of the data that can really transform the way you do business. And we can give examples, but the key part that I'm always excited about 
is that there's so many areas that you haven't even thought of today as to how this data could be used and how it will transform the way different departments interact and work together. And for us as GIS professionals, it's especially exciting because the foundation of it is geospatial. And that is WebGIS and that is portal. So what we see holistically is a large shift, a transformation from system of record to system of engagement. The system of record doesn't go away, but the system of engagement utilizes our system of record being GIS, many other systems of record throughout your organization, and the in-content pieces from users throughout your organization to drive GIS usage and create works we could never have dreamed of. So think about this. Think about embracing new users, uh, embracing new data points, and embracing portal to get you there. And that is WebGIS. Thank you. We're oh, we're already live. OK. I'm going to try and force some outtakes, but I, I don't know if I can come up with that material. Uh, the only thing I thought was a new presentation, new beard. So hey, we'll go with that. OK. That would be funny, a, new, a different beard every time. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I'll shave my head for one of them. It'll the be good. Yeah. Hi, my name is Sky Perry.